A new case. OK, connect the call, Neve. Let's see. Hi, the detectives. How can we help? Hi, guys. I have a slight problem. I'm due to film at the top of Ireland's tallest building, but I'm really scared of heights. Scared of heights? You're not helping, Phil. Any advice? OK, leave it with us, and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. What's wrong with you? I don't like the sound of this. OK, Phil, I'm going to be honest, I do not like heights, so I don't see how I'm going to be able to help our client in this one. Well, maybe if we cure your fear of heights and then we can just tell our client how we did it. Yeah, that sounds good. What are you thinking? Well, you're not going to like it. Eh, uh, why? Well, I've got a friend of mine. He might be able to get you to understand what fear is. Oh, well, that doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, only trouble is you're going to have to meet him on the top of Crow Park. Phil! Look, it'll be fine. You're too great. Look, I'll see you later. Best of luck. OK, guys, I need to conquer my fear of heights, and there's only one place I can go. Up to the roof of Croke Park. Fear is your body's natural response to something it sees as dangerous. So obviously, if you're up high, your body is afraid that you're going to fall. And fear of falling is actually something that people are born with. It's a very natural thing to be afraid. A good thing to do is to control your breathing. So if you breathe in through your nose as if you're smelling something nice, go and then breathe out through your mouth as if you're trying to blow out a candle. And do that really slowly, maybe five times. That's a good way to control your breathing and reduce your body's fear or anxiety response. So do you want to try a little experiment? Yeah, sure. Do you want to try going back to the start of the walkway and maybe try walking along again, but this time practice breathing really controlled and really slowly. OK, okay? I'll give it a go. Oh, Kevin, I'm still really scared about no, this. No, you're doing great. Breathe in. Okay, breathe nice and slowly. Well done. Breathe in. OK, just control your breathing as you look over the edge. Nice and slowly. And out. Whoa, I'm so high up. Just keep controlling that breathing nice and slowly. OK, I'm a bit calmer, but I'm still really scared about this. Oh, I I'm just going to stay here for a little while. OK, well, well done, Neve. I think you did great there. But don't forget, a fear of heights isn't something you can solve very quickly. So you might need to do a little bit more work on that. Phil, can you hear me? Phil? No, I can hear you. I'm, I'm a bit scared here, but I just don't think I've found a full solution. No, calm down, Neve. I'm sure you'll be OK. Maybe there's something else I can come up with. Maybe technology could help. And I found out that there's a technology being worked on here in UCD called virtual reality. And I think it might be able to help our client. There's only one person to talk to, Dr Abraham Campbell. So, Aby, what is virtual reality? So it's a technology that allows you to immerse yourself in a virtual world and actually make you feel like you're inside it. Well, I have a friend who has a fear of heights. Is, is there something that we could do with it? What the technology can do is put you in these places and put you in them in a safe way. But cure it, that's up to somebody else to, to look at that. We're just creating the technology that allows you to be placed in those sort of situations. Whoa, OK. Yeah, I can even feel my heartbeat is, is much faster than it should be. Well, don't worry, you're in a safe space here. Your eyes are being tricked because you're seeing a proper stereographic image. So your two eyes are seeing two different things. So you can't fall in this world, so don't worry. OK. But if you really want to heighten the sort of fear, if you look down and look to the right, you can actually step off this. I, f I feel like I know I'm in a room, but this is counterintuitive. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. There you go. <laughs> so this really? isn't necessarily technology that we know could cure problems with people who are in fear of heights, but it's definitely technology that could support somebody who wishes to bring people into this environment and actually give them some form of therapy. Yeah. No, I can see because, oh, that's so weird. That's so weird coming <laughs> out of that. No, I can see how this would, could, should show people what it's like to be up high, but in a safe environment. Yeah. Absolutely mad. OK, time to deliver the answer. But well, you came to us with a very interesting problem, a fear of heights. And it turns out Neve is scared of heights too. Then I had a brainwave. Let's see if we can cure Neve's fear. Only problem, it didn't really work for Neve. Luckily, I had a backup plan, another brainwave, and it involved technology. It was immersing yourself in a fearful situation, but in a safe environment, combining both psychology and virtual reality. Simple, actually is. There are people offering this service. You just got to go find them. Hope that helps. Bye. Ah, another case solved. That was brilliant. I wonder where the hell Neve is. I'm a bit nervous about moving. Um, yeah, I'll just stay here. Okay. 